what's up guys? It's Nathan Mendelson here. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I am the former number eight ranked middleweight adult black belt in the world from Flow Grappling. It's uh, currently right now, as I'm filming this, the COVID-19 pandemic is happening around the world. In case as many of you, I'm no longer a middleweight for sure. I can't have gained a lot of weight, but uh, as soon as this is all done, we'll be getting back down to weight again. Okay, but what I want to do today is share with you guys some drills, okay, that you guys can do during the pandemic here, okay, with the dummy, okay, so that you guys can practice on your own. This is also good for if you're watching this and everything's hopefully gone back to normal, okay, and we're back to training jujitsu with real people again. It's still good sometimes to get some uh, reps in with the dummy, okay, when you don't have someone to train with. No excuse to let your technique get stale during the pandemic, okay? We can all keep training jujitsu so we can hit the ground running when we get back, okay? So make sure to hit the like, okay? Hit subscribe, drop me a comment, share the video with your friends if you like it. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, me and my buddy Dummy are gonna show you guys some stuff today. All right guys, so we're gonna get to the dummy here in a second, okay? But first we're gonna do some Toriando drills here, okay, with a chair, okay? Chair works really good for this. You can lay it on its back, in case that you got the legs up here, to deal with as if they were someone playing the open guard, okay? So you're gonna start in a good base, back straight, gripping the legs, okay? I'm gonna step out to the side. As I step out to the side, I'm gonna push his legs to the side. As I do that, my opposite leg comes back, okay? So I push it, come back, okay? Once I'm here, I step in with the inside leg, and put my knee down like I'm going knee on the belly, butt down on my heel, okay? Chest up high, leg out wide, sole of the foot on the ground, butt down low, onto my own heel here, okay? Then I'm gonna reset, okay? And go to the other side, okay? Pushing the legs to the side, okay? Coming in, okay? You're just gonna go side to side like that. Alright guys, so drill number two, okay, is going to be uh, similar to drill number one, okay, but this is going to be my X pass, okay. So now my outside hand here, okay, this one is going to go on the top of the chair, okay, instead of on the other leg, okay. And I'm going to step in here now, okay, so now I'm splitting the chair's legs, okay. We're going to imagine this is my partner here, okay, on the ground here, he's playing a reverse De La Hiva, okay. If he was out here, he'd be daily heaving me, okay? Uh, let's give me a bitty bowl. Okay, so I've stepped it in here, okay, boom. Okay, now I've got him here in the reverse daily heva. So this inside leg is hooking my leg here, okay? So another way to set up a Toriando type pass, okay? It's gonna be a little bit different though, it's, and I like it even better, okay? So what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna step out to the side. As I step out to the side, I'm gonna kick this leg back. Okay, I've got to be putting some weight in my hands, okay? You're imagining here, this would be you holding on your partner's collar, okay, down kind of low. This would be your hand low on your partner's pant leg here. Okay, so you, this allows you, when you push your partner's heel down, it's going to pin it to his butt, and this hand you get, is going to be kind of in his belly butt. So you can put a lot of weight in your hands here. That makes it really easy for you to take this inside leg. Right here you're in his grill, right? He thinks you're trying to knee slide him or something. He's pushing off on you. He's working this daily heva. So all of a sudden you kick this leg back. Okay, and it's really important that you kick it really high. Okay, kick it hard. Okay, and also that you're pushing this leg down. So he's using a reverse daily heva hook here. He's gonna try to be extending that leg to keep the hook on my leg. Okay, so I put my weight in my hands. I kick that leg hard, okay? Me having my foot out here and my hands, I still got three points of base here. So it's really easy for me to keep a good balance here, even though this foot is off the ground and my leg's way up high in the sky, okay? So I'm always trying to keep a good posture. As I do this, I kind of bend forward and I kick that leg up high, okay? The next place that this foot is gonna touch the ground is gonna be right in me in the belly position. It's not gonna touch the ground back here. It's gonna go high and I'm gonna stomp it here, okay? And this is why we call it the X pass because here my arms end up kind of crossing like an X, okay? And I'm always pushing this leg out of the way. His guard and his everything's over here, okay? This makes it hard for him to set up his guard again, okay? Now I come in here, I can start to let go here as I come in and I put that knee on the belly again, okay? And now I reset, other side, same thing, okay? I'm here in the guy's grill, okay? 
Leg out, kick that leg back. Step in, shoving this leg out of the way. Knee on the belly. I know there's a lot of you guys out there that are enjoying this quarantine because you get to beat up on people that don't fight back. I see all you guys are like sitting out during sparring. You guys are probably loving this time, okay? Just playing, but this is actually good for you, okay, to practice your knee on the belly flows, okay? So I just passed this guard with either drill number one or drill number two, doing my Toriando type stuff here, okay? And I'm passing this guard. Now I've got him stuck in a knee on the belly. Okay, now I'm gonna practice my flow. Okay, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna put my hands on my partner. Okay, my knee is now gonna come and touch his ribs. I've got my knee touching his ribs. Okay, I'm not gonna jump. I'm not gonna take my weight off my partner. I'm gonna put my knee on his ribs. I'm gonna keep all my weight on my partner. Okay, with my hands, but also with my legs. I don't take the weight out of my legs. Now I pin my heels to my butt and I wheel my feet across. Okay, as soon as my foot comes across, my foot hooks his hip, okay? And then right away, I push back. I push back and I take my hands off my partner. As I do that, I stick my leg back out again. And I'm now into a really good knee on the belly here again. Okay, all my weight heavy on my partner's uh, waist. I've got my, all my weight in my shin, okay? I've got only one part of my body is touching the ground when I do a knee on the belly. It's only this outside foot. This foot here, at the side of my knees on his belly, doesn't touch the floor. My foot is hooking his hip, okay? And it doesn't touch the ground. If I put that toe on the ground, I automatically start putting a bunch of weight here on the ground instead of on him, which is no good. So I want all my weight here, okay? I want 98% of my weight here, and I've only got 2% over here on this foot that I'm just using just for balance, okay? So that I'm not just balancing in the air. I've just got this stomping just for, for balance, but all my weight's gonna be on my partner, okay? So now my hands go back down, my knee touches, heels come to the butt, I swing those feet, come right to hook in his hip here, and then this foot shoots out, and I always take my hands off to remind myself to always put my weight back on my partner. Okay guys, so now, second way that I can switch sides here. Okay, this is a, I'm gonna achieve the same thing. I'm gonna end up in a knee on the belly on the other side, but there's different reasons to do one versus the other, okay? And it's another way that I can, I can do my, the same thing, okay? So I'm gonna sit up now, weight on his belly. I'm gonna take my outside leg and I'm gonna step it around his head, and this heel now is gonna come and touch his hip here. Okay, I step it around and I touch it to the hip. Now I'm gonna switch, okay, really quickly. Okay, at first you may need to use your hands for base, okay, but your goal is to be able to do it without using your hands and try to keep your butt down low, okay? Inevitably, there's gonna be a split second where you take one shin off before the other shin comes on. And that has to be fast, okay? Because that's the moment where he has no weight on him. So I'm gonna switch it quick, look, okay? And here, switch quick. Okay, right away I put that weight back on him again. Now I do a back step with this leg, okay? And I come back to the beginning position again. Okay, with all my weight on him, it should be easy for me to keep my balance there as I do that. Notice how I'm doing it with no hands. Again, other side, step around, heel touch, okay, switch, shin on, back step. Okay, step, heel touch, spin, back step. Now, third version, okay, we're gonna combine the two to do rotations in one direction, okay? You can do this, put it on a timer for like one minute one direction, one minute the other direction. So I do move two and then move one, or move one and then move two, whichever one you wanna do, okay? Moving in one direction, okay? Working counterclockwise and then clockwise, okay? So I'm here, boom, and then the other. Remember, it's a flow, so it's supposed to be smooth. This allows you to surf on your opponent, okay? And it allows you to react to his movement, okay? Without always having to be locked, you can flow around your partner to keep control as well, okay? And you can switch sides. <laughs> So 
So now we're gonna combine three of those, okay? So we're gonna do our X pass to a rotation, okay? So I'm here, X pass, hand on the leg, hand on the belly, okay? Kick that leg back high, step, knee on the belly. Hands on, transition one, transition two, reset. Okay, other side. Step to the hip, knee on the belly, transition one, transition two, reset. All right guys, so that's the first round of coronavirus drills for you guys. I got another one coming up with the rest of them here soon. Okay, I'm getting back to posting consistently to YouTube. Okay, so stay looking for my videos, share them around, tell your friends about it, and make sure to like and subscribe. Oops.